Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Dr. Styles coming to you with a video review of the one, scaled 1 to 100 Metal Gear Rex. I finally finished him, and this is how he look, looks in his stand. Let's, let's take a good look before we start going over articulation. <clears throat> uh, the, uh, the figure comes with the figure, the kit comes with the stand. So, this is the action base that comes with little snake. Little snake, uh, the snake figure and the liquid figure actually doesn't come painted. I did a eh, an okay job painting them, I guess. Um, eh, not a great job, but you know, whatever. Um, uh, here he goes. This is how he looks finished. His liquid inside. Liquid looks good painted because I'm not gonna lie, it was real easy to paint him. And here's a is a. Um, uh, the kit. Spin around, spin around, spin them around. Alright guys, let me set the camera down, start going over some articulation. Okay, I, I, I like the fact that it comes with the stairs, it makes things easier because without the stairs he falls over. See? You can put, I mean, you can have him like sit down like how he was before uh, Liquid activated him. See? You see, boom. Okay. Let me put it back up so we can see the articulation. Oh, here we go. Okay. For articulation in the head, you could move the head back and forth. You can actually rotate all the way around. Nah, yeah, you could. You could rotate all the way around you want. The mouth actually closes completely. It's a little weird. You gotta play around with it and boom. The mouth closes completely. See, see, he's completely in there. Look, as so you can see, that's how he looks underneath. See, he's pretty cool. This is the laser gun that he uses. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not important. Um, uh, a lot. That's one thing I know about this figure. A lot of parts fall off. I caught myself, I had to glue a whole bunch of stuff together so it wouldn't fall off. Like these, the, the spikes that he used to dig into the ground had to uh, actually, as you can see, this is two different pieces. Actually had to, um, um, had to glue them together. Okay. Uh, the legs, um, I moved back and forth. Pretty articulate as far as going back and forth. And this is as much motion as you can get. This thing goes back and forth. As you can see, something just fell off. And here we go. The rail gun. Rail gun's pretty cool. I like it. Move back and forth. Not much articulation in the rail gun. The shield or the satellite dish. Back and forth. That's it. Not too again, not too much articulation. Um Open, you can open this wide. So you see, railgun moves. Uh, you know, these things on um, the feet are actually articulate. See, oh, see, things fall off on this kit all the time. Probably glue that later, but I gotta be careful the way I glue it. So, he can still move. Eh, I'll put that together later. Oh, there we go. Um, so yeah, um, building this kit, believe it or not, was one of the hardest kits and most annoying and frustrating kits I've, I've built. And I've built quite a few kits, I've built a few Gundam kits, and before this one I thought that the, that the Quanta was my most frustrating built kit. Uh, main reason why, because parts fall off of him all the time. But this guy was hard, like so many pieces, it's so tedious. The small, like for example, I'll show you a good example right now. Like these things are actually, you can actually move these things. Like, the, he has missiles over here, but they're in a the bag. Nothing crazy, just little missiles. Like these little things, they open up cool, right? But it's so small, so tedious. Things are always falling off this kit, as you can see, look. You know? Um. Yeah, look, see, here's another part, and I glued that part earlier. Um, building this kit was real tedious. The reason it took so long, because I'll be honest with you, it was not fun building this kit. 
and I did not have a, not a bit of fun building this kit. It was annoying. It was frustrating. I broke a few pieces. Like um, I want, I forgot which one it is. I broke it actually. I do bare minimum movement to because I forgot which one it is. I broke the little little stem, little delicate stem. Um, uh, articulation, the, the kit's okay, but. Uh, we all remember from the game that um, uh, Metal Gear really wasn't that articulate. He just walked around and shot lasers at Snake um, and everything. Again, a little Snake. You know, action base, cool. I kind of like it. Um, the only thing about the action base, honestly, I, I wish it was bigger. Because I feel like it's a little too crowded in here, even though in the game it was a little crowded. And it looks like it has attachments, so you can add more stuff to it. Uh, maybe they're thinking about releasing... Um, um, uh, a Metal Gear Ray model kit, who knows, but as you can see it has the attachment, almost similar to what the Gundam kits have, where you can attach one action base to the other. Um, the parts are really small in this kit, so you really have to be careful not to break uh, stuff uh, on this kit, because again, it's real easy to break stuff on this kit. Now, do I recommend this kit? Um, it depends. Like, again, I was frustrating the whole time. It was just frustrating building this kit. I was getting tired of it. But honestly, once I saw this part completed, once I completed this part, that's why I was like, you know what? I really have to finish this kit because it's looking really good. And once I built them and um, um, I stood them up and that's got him in front of the snake, and then I was like, yes, absolutely. If you're, um, if you're a true Metal Gear fan, then yes, this kit is definitely worth getting. But again, with caution, it's not an easy kit to build by far. It's frustrating, it's tedious, it's annoying. Um, you know, if you're just a casual builder and you don't, and you kind of like Metal Gear and this, and you're thinking about using this as your first kit, I don't recommend it at all. You can pull off some cool poses with the action base. Uh, try to zoom out a little bit. You can pull out some cool action, some cool poses on the action base. Even my favorite one is liquid looking at Metal Gear. You know the see there you go. <laughs> the dish and the railgun are um, uh, articulate enough that you can just position them in a different way. So it looks like a uh, picture was taken in the middle of an action scene. But again, um, do I recommend this figure again? If you're a true Metal Gear fan and 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 you really want to build this kit, then yes, absolutely. I love this kit. I'm happy I built it. Would I build it again? Absolutely not. Not at all. Uh, again, this kit was really annoying. It was tedious and took me way too long. The first video uh, I posted was like maybe a month or two ago. I started building it and it was just, the legs were super annoying. Everything else was super annoying. But you know what? Once you built built him, he looks really good. Especially if you want to recreate that Metal Gear scene. You know, this is you know, um, um, now you can't get. Now he's actually not too bad. When I first got this kit, I got him. I got him at, um, uh, for like about almost a hundred dollars. Now you can probably get him for like eighty bucks, um, depending on what site you go to. Uh, the only uh, the only thing I painted was the little figurines. I didn't paint Rex himself. I uh, might paint him um, uh, in the future. As you can see, he kind of has an inner frame, not really. Um, but yeah, I mean, um, again, I only recommend this if you're a true Metal Gear fan. Because for the price, you can actually get a really good Master Crate uh, grade version of Kai. Uh, you, for, this is probably the same exact price as um, um, the new Gundam Ka version. And that's a great freaking kit. I can't wait to build my kit. Um... This one, annoying. Uh, do I recommend it? Yes, if you're a true Metal Gear fan. If you're just a casual uh, builder, then no. Uh, you know, if you're, or if you don't really care too much about Metal Gear, then no, I don't recommend it. Just because, you know, it isn't exactly easy to build. I know it sounds like a lot of negative, but it was just frustrating. It, is it worth it at the end when you build them off? Yes, just because, just this alone. This alone just recreates the scene from from the fight scene. I know this is a little epic, you know. So you can see.
see a epic moment. Yeah, just the just the scenes that you re that you recreate with this. Oh, actually glued Snake there. That's why he um uh, sticking there. I'm I'm gonna leave on that post, so I don't mind gluing him. But yeah, you can see he looks good. Don't get me wrong, he looks really good. Um, uh, but if you're willing to deal with the uh, tedious and possible parts breaking, then um, uh, yeah, pick them up. Um, uh, if you want to paint them really good, paint them, and you have a good time again. Uh, negatives, um, um, action base. Wish it was a little bigger. Uh, real tedious took uh, a lot of little, little parts, like little tiny little parts. Like this is actually a prime example. This is two or three parts put together, believe it or not. Uh, real, real tedious. Um, uh, positive, uh, it's Metal Gear. <laughs> more than, if you want more, more of a positive than that, then I don't know what to say. It's Metal Gear. It's Metal Gear Rex at that. Uh, I know for a fact, for me, this is the one that introduced me to the Metal Gear series. So, honestly, I don't need to name any other positive than just look at this scene right here. With this scene alone, if you were on the fence about getting this kit and you're willing to deal with the little tedious thing, then with this, with this, just this look alone, then I think you should definitely get it. Again, guys, this is um, Dr. Siles. Um, um, if you have any questions, any comments, leave them below. I'll answer you back. Stay tuned. Um, next time I'm going to review, I don't know, I'll probably build more of the kits. I'll, let, I'll post it and I'll figure out what kits I'm going to post. Or if you guys want to see a, a more of a review of, of my Metal Gear collection or my other Gundam collection or my figure collection. Alright guys, so just um, stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.